hello friends i welcome you once again to mathematics video lecture series we are studying complex number and in this video lecture i'll be talking about argument of a complex number so let's begin argument of a complex number so let's get back to the argand representation of a complex number so if i draw the argand plane x y and let me draw a complex number z which is denoted by the point a comma b okay so the real part is a and the complex part is b okay i can write z is equal to a plus ib okay now argument simply means what is the angle that the complex number z is making with the positive direction of x axis so argument is angle made by complex number with positive direction of x axis so please bear in mind this is the positive direction of x axis so if this if this is the positive direction of x axis then the angle that the complex number is making is this let us call this theta remember that in measuring the angle we always move anti clockwise so just write taken anti clockwise we never rotate clockwise from the positive direction we can rotate like this also but that will not be the angle the angle will be the one that we get by rotating anti clockwise so let us call this theta then in this triangle you can see tan theta will be equal to b upon a okay so theta will be equal to tan inverse of b by a okay so the argument is theta is equal to tan inverse of b by a okay so but uh, there are some things to keep in mind so let me try to divide the arguments in terms of quadrants okay so suppose let me draw it once again x y this is the first quadrant this is the second quadrant this is the third quadrant and this is the fourth quadrant okay suppose <coughs> b is positive and a is also positive if both a and b are positive then the quadrant that i am talking about is first quadrant and in first quadrant i know that theta is between 0 and 90 degree theta cannot be greater than uh, uh 90 degree so if b is positive and a is positive so it is first quadrant and theta will lie between 0 to pi by 2 okay if b is positive and a is negative then we are talking about the second quadrant this area okay b is positive the y coordinate is positive x coordinate is negative so we are talking about the second quadrant now theta will be between pi and pi by 2 okay between 90 and 180 degree similarly if b is negative and a is negative then we are talking about the third quadrant so complex number will be here and angle will be between pi and 
थ्री पाई बाई टू एंड B is negative and A is positive. Then I am talking about the fourth quadrant. And in fourth quadrant, the angle will be between three pi by two and two pi. So this is very important concept. We'll see how. Suppose I ask you find the argument of one plus i. One minus i, minus one plus i, and minus one minus i. Okay, these are the four co complex number. So first, one plus i. If you see tan inverse b by a, this will be tan inverse one by one because the imaginary part is one, and the real part is also one. So this is nothing but Pi by four, and we know that b is also positive, a is also positive. So it lies in the first quadrant, and we are getting the answer pi by four. So our answer is correct. Okay, second, one minus i. Now if you see b is negative, and a is positive, so b is negative, a is positive. That means it should be fourth quadrant. Okay, now let's solve. Tan inverse of b by a, so tan inverse of minus one upon one, tan inverse of minus one. Now, <clears throat> tan inverse of minus one, it can be either in the second quadrant, in second quadrant also tan is negative, or it can be in the fourth quadrant. Okay, but the answer cannot be the theta cannot be in the second quadrant because we have seen that. The point lies in the fourth quadrant, so argument cannot be one thirty five degree or three pi by four. If you see three pi by four, tan of three pi by four is minus one, but three pi by four or one thirty five degree lies in the second quadrant. So answer will be two pi minus pi by four. If let me make the diagram. This is the point. This is the angle, and we know that this angle will be pi by four. So two pi minus pi by four, this will be seven pi by four. So argument is seven pi by four. Okay. Thirdly, minus one plus i. Again, here b is positive, a is negative. So we are talking about which quadrant? B is positive, a is negative. The second quadrant. Now tan inverse of b by a, tan inverse of One upon minus one, again ten inverse of minus one, but this time the angle will not be seven pi by four, because seven pi by four lies in the fourth quadrant. So this will be three pi by four. And finally, the fourth minus one minus i. This is also interesting. B is negative, a is negative. So this lies in the third quadrant. Let's see tan inverse minus one upon minus one. This will be tan inverse one. <laughs> Now you can make the mistake of writing it as pi by four. But answer cannot be in the first quadrant, so this cannot be pi by four. This will be five pi by four, because it has to be in the third quadrant. Okay, that is why I uh, gave you this table. We always see. Where the x and y coordinates are lying, which quadrant they are lying, and then find the argument, then match the argument with the quadrant. That will be your final answer. Okay. Fine. So in the next video lecture, I'll be telling about principal value of arguments. Very very important topic. We'll be covering principal value of argument, and then we'll be solving some questions on argument. Okay. So stay tuned. we'll meet in the next video lecture thank you